Hello everyone! In this tutorial, we will learn how to install Wipad Studio on our computer and then we will create our first robot. So, first step is to create an account on Wipad so we can then download the Wipad installation. So, let's access here to Google and search for Wipad. And let's click here on the first result where it says Wipath Automation Platform Leading RPA Company. So let's click here on the first result. And so now we are on the main page of Wipath website that it's on www.wipath.com as we can see here. And now to create an account on Wipath, let's click here on the button Try Wipath Free. So we can see that we have here two buttons. We can click on one of them. So let's click. And now here we can create an account on Wipath Automation Cloud. So we have here four options to create an account. First, we can create an account with our Google account, with Microsoft account, LinkedIn account, or just by email. So I will choose here the last option. And now we have to fill this form. So first on organization name, you can indicate, for example, the name of the company where you work or indicate just a fictional company name like fake company, for example. Now here, let's indicate our first name and here our last name. So now here on country region, let's indicate the country where we live. And now on email, let's indicate our email address. And now in last, let's define here our password account. So now to create the account, we just have to check this checkbox to accept the terms and policies. So let's check. And now let's click on this button to create our account. And as we can see here, we we'll sent an email for verification. So let's check the inbox of the email that we indicated to create the account. And as we can see, we received an email from Wipath to verify our email address. So let's open the email and to verify the email, we just have to click here on this button. And as we can see, we have now our account created on Wipath Automation Cloud. So now let's go to the second step that is download the Wipath Studio installation. To do it, let's click here on the button help that we can see here. And here we can download the Wipath Studio installation. We have here two options, the preview and the stable one. So in this course, we will use the stable version. So let's click here on stable. And now to download the installation, let's click here on the download button. And as we can see here, the download of the Wipath installation was done. So let's just wait a bit. The download already finished, so let's execute the file to start the Wipad to the installation. So let's click on it. So the Wipad setup already started, and first we have to choose one of these two options. So we have here the option quick, recommended for community users, and the option custom, recommended for enterprise advanced users. So let's choose here the first option, the option quick recommended for community users. And now we just have to check here on this checkbox to accept the terms and to be able to install the Wipad Studio. So now after check the checkbox, let's click here on the button install to install the Wipad Studio on our computer. So the installation already started, so let's just wait it to finish. During the Wipad Studio installation will appear this window asking if we want to install the Wipad extension for Chrome. 
So let's install it because we will need it to create automations that uses the Chrome browser. So let's click here on OK. And now let's terminate the Chrome process that are still running to install the Webpack extension for Chrome. So let's click here on OK to terminate the Chrome process. And as we can see, our Webpack installation is completed. So now let's just open the Google Chrome to enable the Webpack extension. So let's open Google Chrome. And as we can see here, was added the Webpack extension. So let's click here on enable extension to enable it. And so now we have the Webpack extension enabled. So now we can minimize the browser. And now let's click here on the button launch Webpack Studio. Now, because it's our first time using Webpack Studio on our computer, we have to sign in with our Webpack Automation Cloud to get started. So let's just click here on sign in. And now we just have to click here on the button Open Wipath. And now we just have to wait. And now we have to choose the Wipath Studio profile. And we have here two options the Wipath Studio and the Wipath Studio X. The Wipath Studio profile is the most complete and advanced version with more features. The Wipath Studio X it's a more simplified and limited version. So in this course, we will use the Wipad Studio profile. So let's click on it. And now Wipad Studio will start. So now that we have installed Wipad Studio on our computer, we'll create our first robot to have a first touch with RPA automations using Wipad. So, uh, to create our first robot, our first RP automation, let's open Wipad Studio. And now that we are here, let's create a new project. So, let's select here the option Process to start a blank project. And now here, let's define the name of our process. So, let's type here, for example, First Robot. And now let's just click here on create. So the project is already created. And so we will create automation, a robot that will open the notepad that is installed on our computer. And then after open the notepad, we'll type hello. World. So let's start. So let's just here close the notepad. And let's click here on the option Open Main Workflow to open the main file where we will develop our automation. So first, our automation should open the Notepad application. To do that, we'll use activity that opens applications or browsers. So let's click here on Activities and let's search for the activity Use Application Browser. So we can see here the activity and this activity allows us to use applications or browsers. So uh, this activity opens and also closes applications or browsers that we indicate. So let's drag this activity to here, to our workflow. And now we can see here the activity and here it's saying to indicate the application to automate. So to indicate the notepad, let's open it. And now uh, let's click here where it says indicate application. And now we can see these green lines that show us the elements. So the application that we are hovering with our mouse. So uh, let's indicate here the notepad. So let's over the application here with the mouse. And now let's do a left click. So the notepad application, it's already indicated and we can see that was taken a screenshot here and also the display name of the activity was changed. So we can see now that here appears notepad. 
So at this moment, our automation should open at least the Notepad application. So let's test. Let's close the Notepad. And now let's execute our automation. So to execute the automation, let's click here. And now let's click on Run. We can also just do Ctrl plus F5 to execute automation, as we can see here. So let's click on Run. And we can see that our automation opens the Notepad application and then closes. To not close, let's click here on the activity. And now here on properties, as we can see here, let's go to the property closed and let's define here never. So by this way, this activity will never close the application that it opens. So now if we run again, We can see that the automation opens the Notepad application, but doesn't close. So don't worry that in the next section, we'll explore why Path Studio and learn the basics like the variables, activities, and much more. The purpose of this lecture is to have a first contact with RPA automations using YPath. So now that our automation opens the Notepad, Let's make the automation type in, so here on the notepad, hello world. To do that, we will use activity that makes automation type a value, a text, that we indicate. So let's go here to activities again, and let's clear here the text, and let's search for the activity type it. So this activity enters text, in the indicated element, like a text box, for example. So let's drag this activity, the type into activity, inside the use application browser activity. So needs to be inside of this activity, as we can see here. And now let's indicate the element, the text area where our automation should enter hello world. So let's click here where it says indicate in app. And now we can see that appears a green area indicating, showing the elements that we are hovering. So let's indicate here the text area of the notepad. So now let's do a left click. And now let's confirm our selection by clicking here on this button. So we already indicated the element to enter the text. Now here where it says type this on this element, so on this field, let's indicate the text to enter on Notepad. So first we have to open quotes, double quotes, and now let's enter the text. So let's write hello world. And so now our automation should open the notepad application and then should enter hello world on the notepad. So let's test. Let's close the notepad and let's execute again our automation. And as we can see, our automation opens the notepad application and then enters hello world. So, if you want to learn more about YPath, I have a course that teaches YPath from scratch in a practical manner, step by step, by diving first into the core basics and then exploring different automation scenarios by creating different software routes. And now we will learn advanced concepts like YPath document understanding and the YPath Robotic Enterprise Framework. So, I'll leave here on the description of the video the URL to the course page, so you can check out the course details. And so, if you have some question about the course, or of this video, or something about RPA, don't hesitate to leave here on the comments. And so, happy automation and happy learning.